Welcome back. I told you on your turn it's going to be another wonderful time for us to discuss um, the impact that the society needs. And there are so many things to look at as a matter of fact. How do you think music can contribute to societal development? A lot of societal decadence today, be it a gospel music, be it a secular music. Every music is supposed to have a role that it plays in the society beginning from the lyrics to the person, the lifestyle of the musicians, the songwriters, the coaches. Today I have a songwriter, a music minister, a coach right here. Uh, some of you uh, have seen her before because um, some of our songs are everywhere right now. Uh, I have with me in the studio Georgina GNC. And she is a songwriter and of course uh, a coach and a mentor to so many. It's good to have you on the program. This thank morning. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you on the <laughs> thank program. You, thank you. Well, um, we choose to talk about this today because um, creativity is something. Some persons just wake up overnight and they said, well, they are music ministers, they are musicians, they are this, they give themselves all sort of names without knowing the impact that what they are doing is supposed to make in uh, the society. So we will be looking at just a few things uh, today as far as uh, music is, is, is concerned. Well, how, how has it been in the music industry? Because um, the entertainment industry majorly has so many things in common. Because uh, whether you are doing uh, gospel entertainment, uh, secular entertainment, each of this segment of music needs to make impact impact the people impact the family and impact the society so how has the journey been well we really thank god because um god has been so faithful you know the music as we can say is a combination of sounds musical sounds that is pleasing to the ear so a lot of people have ventured into this music because of some say there's big money in it. I'm saying there are no friends and all that. And a lot of persons has entered into music without knowing whether they are called for it, they have passion for it or not. And uh, because it has come to be like that, you know, societies are facing a lot of you know, damages. Mm. I can say damages because what do I mean? Competition. In everywhere because anything you don't have love you don't have a call doing you won't go anywhere it will just amount to competition and jealousy and everything but when you have the love you can remember in first Samuel 16 23 in a Christian view that when Saul was afflicted with sickness he, he called he became a music uh, being a mystery and when they play, the evil spirit left him. So it's supposed to be when we play or when we sing that something happens. To the society. To the society. To the people. And to the people. Uh, and even in the talking about a king right now. It's yes. just like you um, doing something, doing the music, and the president calls on you and says, Hey, come on, this is good. Come to us, Iraq, and of course, come and sing. It's time for democracy day is time for independence come and think and impact the youth all right let's look at the creativity aspect of uh, of music right now whether secular or uh, gospel do you need to be creative to be uh, a musician because i know you are a songwriter that's the reason i'm asking that question mm -hmm. because there are a lot of songs out there today that doesn't make meaning you know, the, the, the lyrics doesn't make meaning. So do you need to be creative to be a gospel or a secular musician? In the capital, yes. You need to be creative. If I simply put, no creativity, no music. Hmm. You understand? You need to be creative. You need to be, as a gospel musician, you need to be prayerful before it comes out. Like me, I receive song, a dream, studying my bible listening to music you know praying having intercessory so music can come in is a creativity then i am not begin to look into what we have in the society if 
I put this rules, where is it? First of all, it has to minister to me. It has to minister to me before I think about, you know, bringing it out. So, it has to be, creativity has to be there. Create how the, the song will be, how the chorus, the, the, the hyper of the song, and how the, the tempo and how the beat will be. All these things that what you are going to consider before you enter into making the music. Okay, um, let's look at Nigeria as a country right now. We have a lot of people roaming the street, all right? Some persons believe um, by the time you have one or two lines, you go and you, you, you weave your hair or maybe uh, you make it to be rough or you become a dada or sort of, or I don't know what they call it. <laughs> yes, uh, a um, dreadlock, <laughs> you know, uh, before you can actually be admitted or seen as someone who sings. Let's look at Nigerian youth uh, as a matter of fact. How do you think, okay, music, wider secular or gospel can contribute to the growth of the society? What does music bring to the table for a nation like Nigeria? Music brings happiness. That's one, one thing that I know, that when you are praising God, you are happy. Even in a secular world, when you are doing what you are called to do, you are happy. And thereby, if the atmosphere in the society changes, when the right music is in the air, like me as a gospel artist, I look up to Nathaniel Bassi. You can't see him maybe dressing on her, like he said, or because some music ministers, even gospel artists right now, they do keep hair, you know, that kind of uh, dresses, giving all these things, making it loud and all that. But this young man, I've been watching him, you can't see him doing something like that. And his music has been all over the world, making him part. So these are the things. I said earlier that a lot of people are not called into this, both secular or gospel. They are not called. It's because of jobless. So many people are out there, they don't have what to do. Mm. And because they have heard that this, my friend, put two or three lines and today is all over every, in fact every, everybody is the talk of the town so me too you know my dear me too they can never use that language they can use uh -huh. hair you are the person put uh, love you put uh, maybe you like you know changing English and all that in a gospel artist where somebody puts hallelujah you can put uh, amen you know copyright everywhere mm. because they want to make it so the way you you know, relate, you know that this is your passion, this is what you are called to do, you, you, you enter into it, you will see improvement in, even in the society, and in our families and in churches. Because we remember, when music was played to Saul, he was made whole, mm. and he's a king, and he continued what he was doing. When you are playing music, gospel, secular, in Nigeria, is good this our nation will become better because you are happy you can't be bitter and you are playing and you are creating music mm. then atmosphere will be better but when you are happy and what you are doing is divine is from god there is no way your music will not make impact and there is no way the nation will not move on because me i pray for this nation i believe that this nation will come if i will be better won't be mm. instead of condemning in my music, I praise give it because let me take you back to Heredia. You know, when the daughter dance very, very well, music, I don't know whether it's the, okay, it's in the Bible. Let me say gospel music, or we don't know the type of music, but, mm. but it pleases the king. I don't, I don't think that was gospel. I don't think so. <laughs> that's, that's what I said. Yes. So it pleases the, 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 the father, the king. And he said, What do you have me do? Mm. Although the end, I don't like the end. Because let music. Yeah, you're trying to say that um, music, yeah. okay, apart from you just wanting the money, yeah. music can make you stand before kids. It can be uh, with, uh, with frustration, uh, depression, all those things, anxieties. It takes it away. And it can bring more than. And it can bring more than. Yes, it can bring more than the mental aspect of it. Because when you are good, me, I'm good. The society is good. Mm. 
and that's that's why i think um the take home right here is that um whatever you're doing as a music minister whether gospel or you are doing secular one thing you mustn't fail to do is the fact that you need to be consistent creative in whatever you do and of course you don't be a copyright you don't have to be a copyright be the original of your song if you know what you're doing one day king someone can just put a call across to you. you you may just be looking forward to the peanuts the little money but then that one youth from your song joy was taken away maybe someone that will want to commit suicide just listening to your song the person changed his or her mind no i don't need to take my life like she has wisely spoken there is hope for everyone in this country and these are the kind of things that music is supposed to be uh, promoting well let me ask you we are rounding up now but let me ask you why is it that at a particular point in time you hear that oh this music is everywhere then in a short while the music is nowhere to be found or maybe some person start music and um at the long run you see them not continuing you see them go into something else is it that are they the kind of uh, people you call copyright <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no no you know when you don't have a structure when you don't have structure there's no way the music that's in fact that's actually the problem we're having because i have a lot of songs in my youtube judging at gnc i have a lot of songs songs like no so and so name above you know no plenty of them but if you are not there the, you know let me just say the music industry have made it very you know big now that if you don't have money because everything is good and money if you don't have money to promote your music to the lens that everybody will see, both the bloggers, they will carry it everywhere. You are handicapped. You just so that's why I say in structure. We need a workable structure. So that the uh, generation, these are young, they will also look into our own songs because God has been, you know, using us mightily. Uh, like the one I released on first day of this month. Unto as a child, but somebody sent me this. He said, This is the best music has ever heard mm. for this year. That the message is clear unto us a child is born, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. If, and the name shall be called Emmanuel, everlasting father, prince of peace. So, if you have Jesus in your life, everything you have peace. But today is as if it's only me and my few persons are hearing it but, but because i don't have but then do you think um the government okay there is anything the government needs to do to support the music industry uh the nollywood um what else the creativity the spoken words you know the industry is an yes, industry yes, food, yes. and these are industries that can actually contribute uh to the growth of the economy so finally before i let you go what do you think the government will need to do to support this industry like in the government need a lot to do a lot to do they have to give us a platform a platform whereby the whole world will see our music because i was once talking to a radio presenter in nta channel eit and this one the money they gave me to pay before what I'm doing will be seen, is <laughs> nothing to be. Well, well, that, that's it. So, that, that, and I couldn't, that's, I couldn't meet up. That, 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 so, that, government has to do something. They would need to know. <laughs> but the platform is very important because a lot of people uh, need an enabling environment to actually uh, move in their area of creativity. Like, we'll talk about people who are doing business, the SMSC, uh, mm. uh, the, those people doing uh, business, small scale uh, business people, and every other organization needs the support of the government, especially an enabling environment to do what they are called to do, to contribute their own quota, to nation building, to the growth and development of the society. And thank you very much for thank our you. Regional GNC, yes. all right, um, for encouraging the youth today. If you are youth and you are out there, there. you've heard you need to do your own best to contribute to the growth of this nation if you are gifted if your talent refine it all right bring in the creativity all right what you need to do do your own part very well before you can get support from the government and even from god himself because you have a role to play all of us need to join our hands together 
and built this nation. Every industry in this country is very important. Of course, uh, uh, this is going to be the size of this discussion. And of course, the global morning for today uh, is come to an end. A very big thank you once again you. Uh, for coming around. Keep doing the good work you're thank doing. You, sir. Uh, you, you have a lot of people that are looking up to you that you're coaching. She has a team that she coaches, people that she's speak to mm -hmm. and mentees are you know a lot of them and this is another way to help build the society to avoid societal decadence and um, i think i will need to give you uh kudos for that <laughs> uh, we we'll, we'll hope to have you some of the yes, time yes, yes, yes. all right thank you very much our viewers out there this is uh, the end of the weekend edition of global morning we'll come on your way again for another wonderful edition of global morning that's going to be tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have a beautiful day. My name is Ramsey Enoch. I go bye-bye for now.